Parental alienation is one of the most awful things that can happen in a child custody situation. Hi, I'm Jim Crayeveld, founder of Crayeveld Family Law. After decades of representing clients who have struggled through the horrors of parental alienation, let's talk about how you can win your parental alienation case. First, let's talk about what it means to win a parental alienation case. Most parents will answer that question with a desperate, I just want to see my kid. I want to see my kid without all the unnecessary drama. That's a great goal. However, when parental alienation has been ongoing for a while, it might be necessary to pursue a more significant change in parenting time or even custody. In my three decades of experience, I find that the alienating parent has to actively participate in significant counseling for quite some time. And if they refuse to do so, a change of custody might be necessary. So to win a parental alienation case, the first step is to make a realistic, a realistic assessment. What does it take to stop the alienating behavior? Next, you should start with the legwork of proving your case. You can do some of this on your own, and you should do this on your own because it's cheaper. Parental alienation litigation is notoriously expensive, so any legal work that you can do for free will allow you to financially sustain the litigation costs that will be racking up down the road. To prove your parental alienation case, start by reading your court order. Follow the court order. If your court order provides that you get parenting time at Friday at 5 o'clock, make sure you're at the pickup location at 5 o'clock. Make sure that you can prove that you were there that day, that time. If your ex didn't bring the children, or they were supposed to be there, file a complaint with the friend of the court. The FOC complaint will become part of the court file, and you'll need this during your litigation to prove a long history of parenting time denials, repeated denials. If you don't have a specific court order that can be enforced, hire an attorney to get a specific order in place. Because if you don't have specific days and times in your court order, the FOC can't enforce the order. My last piece of advice is to be careful about filing motions. Let me explain what I mean. When one parent denies a lot of parenting time, but the other parent then files repeated motions to change custody that are denied every single time because you didn't have enough examples and enough proof, the judge is simply going to start ignoring both of you. That will really hurt your case. You can really only file a motion to change custody once. Needless to say that when you file it, you should give it 100% of your effort and time to file the best motion possible. The motion to change parenting time or change custody needs to be well supported by evidence. That means that you should have been working behind the scenes to gather evidence. You'll need proof of all the parenting time denials. You may need an expert to provide a report regarding psychological issues, fitness to parent. And I understand your desperation to see your children. But don't file a motion to change custody unless you're very well prepared and have a solid foundation to win that motion. In conclusion, to win a parental alienation case, you need to make a realistic assessment of your situation. Can it be fixed with minor adjustments, with enforcement, or do you need to proceed to a complete change of custody? Make sure you have an enforceable court order in place so that the friend of the court can enforce it for you. They may issue orders to show cause, why the other party shouldn't be held in contempt. Create a strong case before you file a motion to change parenting time or change custody so that you can avoid filing repeated motions, which will only weaken your case. Lastly, I really want to encourage you, if your child is being alienated from you, very few people know that the relentless conflict and the pain that this causes. Call me if you want to have a conversation to change this situation. Until next time.